Hi Youtubers, today I am going to make a review about uh, a different OS. It is also a beautiful Linux distro called Elementary Linux OS. Uh, it's a Luna edition and it's uh, now in a beta stage. But I want to show you how beautiful this distro is. It is very really beautiful. It is made on top of GNOME desktop. Only GNOME version is available till now. Uh, it is available for 64 bit and 32 bit. You can choose as you wish. The download link for this Luna OS is given at the bottom of comment. Uh, so now you can just look at this desktop the bottom part of desktop contains some docs which contains some default applications the default internet browser is Midori browser a lightweight browser and there are some good and bad things that I, I encounter in this operating system first I will say the good things Good thing about this Linux uh, distro is it is very fast, highly beautiful, and it does everything that it can. Now, the uh, bad thing about this distro is that there are some bugs because now it because it, it is in beta stage. There are some bugs. If there are some bugs you encounter, you can report a problem through this application. This direct when you click this it will uh, ro report this any any bugs problem through launchpad.com and it helps the developers to develop a improve further good operating system now so uh, the default browser is a Mitori and this Mitori version is uh, point 0.4, point 0.9 this is not the default Midori that you can install that is available for uh, other Linux distro this is a custom built for this elementary OS now we can have a default file manager this is this file manager is known as Pantheon Files version 0.1. So initial Pantheon Files. It is also uh, like Nautilus in Ubuntu, uh, very slick and smooth. Uh, one click system. I liked it. Okay, it is very good file browser. Now there is a good old terminal for, you know any other like any other Linux distro there is a default terminal and for photo viewing and picture viewing a uh, short well is used short well is used and it is uh, pretty much a nice software uh, short well 0.13 version yeah I think what to tell about it now the software center that we use to install software in this distro is a uh, default it's, it's an Ubuntu software center nothing more fancier it's not custom built it's just a simple Ubuntu distro Ubuntu software center now for movie player it uses a totem player which is a GNOME default video player uh, but uh, the thing is that they just made it a custom build for elementary OS Tata movie player the symbol everything is changed uh, it's not that much to know but uh, in the appearance and icons everything changed uh, but the name of this player is not changed now they have also a custom 
music player which is called noise pretty good uh, I didn't use this player but it is uh, pretty much good like a rhythm box I think they just altered the rhythm box or something I don't know but this is a nice it's a version point to noise uh, it's a nice and slick and smooth everything opens just at one click no delay at all that is a good thing now in system settings it is uh, like our old you know type system tool uh, brightness and lock defaults defaults means any if these are the default things if you install any new things and you want it as a default for you can change it through here and just through this desktop look how beautiful the wallpaper loads these are the default wallpapers available for this desktop and it is pretty good see how it loads you can change your dock icon size and uh, any hiding option from this dock tab and it is hot corners it consists of hot corners like gnome desktop and we can change every corner of this screen as we are like here i change one our top right corner to a window overview so that if i take my arrow at the top corner all the open windows are shown as an overview so we can customize these four corners of our screen that's a pretty much nice thing thing blue and language support you know then privacy like in Ubuntu we can record our activities what we take everything or we can we can stop it and then startup application we can start we can include any startup things and in additional drivers uh, you know if you have any graphics card or anything you can install through these additional drivers and color means just calibrating a screen display just for display and keyboard for keyboard settings mouse and touchpad settings power settings is all same as from Ubuntu uh, printer settings sound settings and gram graphic tablet setting and um, blue is also bluetooth setting if you have bluetooth you can change from here uh, and it was setting for network connections then in the system you have about elementary OS look it's elementary OS Luna edition now I am using a 32 bit I have 2 GB my graphics card is Nvidia yeah and the basic stuff now uh, there's a report this Report a problem is when you click it, this software, this just uh, collects uh, everything, every information about uh, your computer and sends to the developer saying what went wrong. So pretty much a neat application to be included in a beta stage operating system. Uh, now the so the only the, the main disadvantage of this operating system is that the minimize and maximize button and the close button everything is simply changed if you if you used any other distros you can see there are always uh, top right corner or top left corner uh, there will be a close uh, minimize and maximize button at a set like a set but here uh, it is entirely different uh, you should get used to these settings it means that uh, at the top left corner there is a close button and the top right corner there is a maximize button you can maximize like this but there is no minimize button at all on top of the windows window decorator there is only a close button but if you do it you will get closed what if you want to minimize it 
the only thing you can minimize is that you have to just click the icon that we opened once more so that it will get minimized yeah this is the only method you can use to minimize that's uh, I think that's mm, what we can say that can be a new feature but it takes some time to go to that because I am not uh, trained to do like this stuff you know always minimize stuff is always there when I uh, first time when I installed this I just panicked I, I didn't see any minimize button now only this way we can do minimize it that's the only main flaw I can see from this uh, operating system but otherwise everything is alright works perfectly and there is a also a menu uh, application like a menu application uh, here we can see everything that is installed software that is installed like a touch interface which is really better for also a touch interface uh, so you can see every software that we installed in icon size or if you want to view it in a classic mode then you can simply press this button so it is like a category mode you can by browse by category or if you want a new touch style mode then you can change to here you can also search if you didn't find a particular Oh uh, yes, a particular software. Like, look, it found. If you have a uh, so much soft, if you install so much software, you don't know how to. You, it, if it is difficult how to get your software, then you can search. And here shows the main uh, calendar and time. The calendar it uses is. Uh, uh, Maya. The cal name of the calendar is Maya. I put which um, it's just a calendar. Maya point two. Nothing more to say about it. You know, do a usual calendar stuff. Then, so that's all f available. Then there is a battery. If you are using a, uh, what can I say? If you are using uh, sorry about that. Uh, it consists of some bugs. So that wing panel, that upside panel is called the wing panel. Mm. I, I can also send error, but I don't have a launchpad.com account, so that's it. So these other things, upside things, are same as a GNOME desktop. Nothing more to say about it. Uh, yeah, if you want to shut down, there's a button there. You log out, suspend, hibernate, shut down, everything. Same. And this is pretty much it. Uh, there is no right click in this stuff. Uh, now, if you have any doubt, you can. Uh, uh, I will give you a link to my website forums you can post your questions there I can will answer it uh, if you like this video uh, please like this uh, subscribe I will be kind of uploading new videos about new Linux store reviews uh, thank you for listening to this video